Hello professor, my name is Omar Farooq. Now I am going to share my final examination slide. First question, problem 1. Draw the arrow according to the below condition. Condition is here. The electric flux uh, from electric field from right to left and high concentration uh, uh, electron and hole in right side and low concentration electron and hole in left side. Uh, by following this condition, we uh, draw the arrow. Direction of diffusion flux. Uh, always a high concentration to low concentration so for diffusion flux uh, oh, high concentration is right side and low concentration is uh, left side that's why the direction is in this way uh, similarly for electron flux the direction is right to left and for whole current uh, whole current uh, follow the electric flux but for electron it is reverse that's why this is in this direction now drift okay drift flux uh, can affect by the polarity of electron so um, electric field from is in this direction that's why a hole is also in this direction and current uh, whole current is also in this direction but a, a electron uh, 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 electron uh, flux actually uh, uh, drift flux for electron is reverse uh, uh, of electric field that's why it is in this direction and current is uh, reverse of flux that's why it is in this direction the next question is 2.1 draw the energy band diagram for accumulation depletion inversion mode using MOSFET so for accumulation mode majority carrier accumulated under the gate and depletion mode is normally one mode and inversion is hot is minority carrier accumulated under the gate so this is the metal and this is the oxide and this is the semiconductor this whole thing is metal oxide semiconductor that is MOSFET so for metal the uh, work function is here and for oxide the energy band is very high and for semiconductor we, we know and it has uh, balance balance band and conduction band and Fermi level and that is shown by here and this is for accumulation mode and this figure for depletion mode and this figure for inversion mode okay how to remove the conductive channel at vgs equal to zero as shown in figure d so figure d is here here we can see here p plus and p plus and a channel is exist between these we have to remove this channel to remove this channel uh, uh, we have to apply a positive voltage at gate terminal that's why positive charge induced in metal gate and negative charge accumulated under the uh, gate terminal and consequently p channel vanishes now problem 3.1 explain the mechanism why the current shows constant at uh, saturation region uh, for a small VDS uh, mobility uh, mu constant and that time VDS if VDS increases electric field also increases as well as drift velocity increases and current density is also increases that's why the drain current increases but when we apply large VDS if electric field is larger than uh, 10 to the power 4 volt per centimeter and uh, that time mu are no longer constant so that time mu is uh, inversely proportional to electric field and that time drift velocity is constant now after increasing the vds to such a level that pins up occurs the gate and the drain voltage loss losses its control over the current flowing so uh, that time if we increase the vds further uh, electric field also increases but v that means drift velocity is constant that's why j as well as id become constant now 3.2 draw the energy band gap for equilibrium and saturation mode of mosfet equilibrium <coughs> what is equilibrium no gate or drain 
to source, source voltage apply that means vgs and vgs equal to zero that time fermi level are aligned to uh, source and drain channel there's no current at equilibrium and the figure is uh, like this and saturation here uh, for enhancement and depletion uh, saturation condition is uh, uh, shown here and when vd is greater than vd saturation then mosfet goes on saturation and f for this for uh, in this time for saturation mode pin swap is shift uh, from right to left and the uh, uh, energy band diagram is like this the this portion is goes low lower now 3.3 why the transconductance uh, in saturation region is affected by vgs not vds transconductance mosfet act as a constant current source in the saturation region we know this and this is because increasing of vds to such a level when pin swap uh, occurs the gate and drain voltage losses it uh, control uh, over the current flowing and so beyond uh, that time beyond the value of vds the current is almost constant and that's why in saturation region vds has no effect on ids and also from uh, the transconductance equation we, uh, here we can see uh, uh, transconductance only depends on ids and vgs and so we can clearly say that so ga saturation, saturation uh, depends on uh, ids and vgs not on vds okay what is the difference between acceptor like state and acceptor level when gate dielectric is formed some interface trap is created in build in interface if interface trap are filled by electron that time it is called uh, donor like state and this uh, if uh, this is not filled uh, that time it is called acceptor like state so uh, here the question is difference between acceptor like state and acceptor level acceptor like state is bad for conductance and do not contribute to conduction but uh, this acceptor level contribute to conduction and good for conductance and, and the acceptor like state is uh, created in mosfet but uh, 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 acceptor level is created in p type semiconductor and it's uh, on types of defect but it's not defect explain the degradation mechanism of mosfet under plus vgs stress degradation mechanism here we can see an equation qm equal to qi plus qs qm is a metal uh, carrier and is in, uh, insulator carrier and the semiconductor carrier if we apply 10 carrier in metal then minus 10 is um, induced in semiconductor side uh, but uh, some trap is uh, exist here that's why some of the minor charges uh, mm, go through this way and inside this this is minus 4 and this is the device degradation uh, 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 if we uh, um, make a device and first day we uh, get this types of card but after uh, some days we uh, get this type of card and this is degradation okay why is the hot carrier effect for whole less serious short channel effect can create a hot carrier and this is two types one is a whole hot carrier and is uh, another is electron hot carrier but hot uh, carrier uh, a whole is less serious than electron because of some region barrier for hole uh, is uh, uh, 5 electron volt but barrier for uh, electron it is 3.1 electron volt it is less that's why electron uh, can uh, easily tunneling from this to this bars uh, for hole it is very high that's why it's very hard to uh, tunneling effect channel mobility of hole is also uh, half of electron and at the same electric field less impact of silicon dioxide interface for a hole that's why electron are more serious than uh, than hole in case of hot explain what causes vts roll of phenomena 
the decrease of threshold voltage with decrease in the gate uh, uh, in the gate length is also known as short channel effect that's also called um, a threshold voltage roll up as the channel of the device reduced nano is in nano scale region the charge distribution in the channel is influenced by the field originating from the source and drain and that time an unexpected effect happened and short channel effect are caused by the penetration of junction field into the channel region from here to here and uh, this field effectively decrease the substrate dropping uh, substrate dropping and thus leading to a lower th threshold voltage and a large depletion region depth as channel then decreases threshold voltage shifted in direction mm, uh, negative direction that is voltage threshold roll off explain the mechanism of uh, low VTAs in term of charge sharing short channel effect also refers to VTAs and another uh, region of this is charge sharing depletion with uh, is created because source drain and uh, substrate are pn junction and this depletion width penetrate the area where the channel is created such shared as mass as blue blue triangle above here and when the channel length is larger uh, enough the share of the charge is small but as long as it is um, length get smaller and smaller the portion of the uh, charge sharing becomes larger and larger at this time uh, since the charge is formed in the channel in the channel uh, with negatively charged donor ion and the voltage is sufficient to form the channel without the gate voltage therefore threshold voltage decreases according to the channel length if VTAs become low and minus VTAs, what is going on for the MOSFET? Describe the problem. Okay. We decrease the threshold voltage. Some problem happen in MOSFET. That is, carrier move with saturated velocity. And that creates hot carrier. So, source channel potential hill become bigger. Then, drain induced barrier lowering, quantum confinement, and hot carrier degradation. How to reduce the hot carrier effect and ripple? For reducing the hot carrier effect, we can apply LDD. LDD means lightly drop drain. An additional lightly drop region in source and drain make the depletion weight uh, at reverse bias and drain channel uh, junction. And E field reduced. An E field of NP junction is less than n plus minus p junction depletion region for ldd device extend across the n region and reduce the breakdown and hot electron effect and this is also shown these types of phenomena the second portion of this question is how to reduce the devil devil is reduced by packet pocket implantation commonly known as a halo doping p doping is a halo region greater than P doping in substrate. Here we drop a, a halo doping. Actually, it is highly doped than the substrate doping. L <coughs> what are the pros and cons for LDD and halo? LDD means lightly doped drain. The pros reduce the hot electron degradation. And cons is resistance increases with LDD, which lead to power dissipation and uh, hollow. Hollow or uh, pocket implantation pros is reduce the devil effect and cons it increases device fabrication complexity. Describe your impression for this class. To be truth, I am so grat grateful to Almighty who gives me this opportunity to enjoy this class. I would like to thank the professor for hiring such an extraordinary semiconductor pioneer to teach us semiconductor physics and electronic engineering in honor i'm so happy the professor always so much energetic who is motivate every student to take enough feelings of semiconductor it is obvious that semiconductor is tough topic but our professor make them easy and enjoyable even sometime professor try to use 
uh, his body language to clarify hard things that's much interesting to me and thanks to professor nam young kim and professor jeo park thanks again what are your takeaways for these courses <coughs> Six point two. What are your takeaways for these courses? Summary. Uh, from the very first class, we learn about origin of energy band gap and what is semiconductor, semiconductor def definition, actually Fermi level and its position in semiconductor. Then we learn uh, Fermi Dirac distribution function and its, and its important uh, and Maxwell Boltzmann approximation. The most appropriate things is Fermi Dirac distribution and it is very important. By this equation, we can calculate carrier concentration we can uh, assume or oh, where the Fermi level is situated then uh, origin of uh, then we learn origin of n and p type semiconductor formation of pn junction and its energy band gap then Fermi level position for intrinsic n and p type in different condition then we learn about donor and acceptor level both for ionized and both for uh, uh, and uh, uh, unionized situation then we learn compensated semiconductor in details then uh, then we learn uh, diffusion and uh, drift process with current which is existing semiconductor okay then we learn about quasi fermi level then control of built-in voltage using dropping concentration right then we learn about ideal uh, diode characteristics avalanche breakdown and general breakdown and um, uh, what is important of this where we can uh, utilize this uh, avalanche and general breakdown then we learn about metal semiconductor uh, contact we know uh, there are two types of metal semiconductor contact uh, one is uh, ohmic contact another another is short key contact uh, finally we learn uh, the MOSFET and what is MOSFET? MOSFET basic operation and different mode of operation then output characteristics, transfer curve, pins of saturation, many things and um, what, oh, what is the effect that decreases MOSFET that is tunneling, device degradation, short channel effect, hot carrier effect and how can uh, we uh, minimize this that is LDD, D-ball, hello and many things and thanks to all of my uh, uh, viewers thanks thanks to professor and thanks again okay bye bye